Hey guys, how's it going on? And this is take four of my intro. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, we're here today to do watch and react to the career mode deep dive for EAFC 24. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? We're going to find out. Um, I did get like 50 seconds originally into this video. So, it's the, the first minute it's not going to be too genuine. I had to restart the recording because I had a sneeze and fit. So, yeah, let's just get into it. Welcome back to our EA Sports FC 24 Deep Dive Series. I'm Sheldon, and today I'm joined by Alex and Pete from our EA Dev team to talk about everything that's new in manager and player career. How are we feeling? Hey, Sheldon. Very, very excited to be here today. Yeah, lots of excitement. Goes without saying, like, it obviously looks really good. Like, you can see, like, the cutscenes that we saw, like, last year with the um, sort of, like, cityscapes um, surrounding the ground. Pretty good. Um, I, I'm interested this year how they're going to introduce it. Obviously, we know that pyrotechnics is involved, so I'm interested whether we're going to get like scenes like this with like pyros going off. That'd be really cool. Exciting features to go over. I know that. Control so there is a new feature for people who are in the dark and somehow managed to watch every other one's uh, <laughs> avoided every other per person's career or deep dive. The Ballon d'Or is in it. I'm really interested. Is this going to be like more of like a gimmick, or is it like we're going to get more about the Ballon d'Or, like? We see in real life things like a Ballon d'Or clause in both transfers and in players' contract details. Is that going to be something we can add? You know, like, in a transfer, like, we can, like, sell... If we're doing, like, a Road to Glory and we get a Wonder Kid through, can we sell that player and put, like, a... If he wins the Ballon d'Or, we get five million. You know, can we do something like that? That'd be cool. ...is a big theme this year, and there are so many changes... <clears throat> see a cutscene there... I know that control is a big um, theme this year, and there are so many. Oh my God, man! How did I miss it twice? Uh, control is a big theme this year. And there we go. So, this is looks like one of the new cutscenes. I don't know if this is in manager career mode or just in player career mode, but we see like inside the changing rooms. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a bit of a nothing thing. I mean, I genuinely think it's one of those things that after about two months, no one's really going to care about. It's a good detail, though. And there are so many changes in this space, separating manager career and player career. So let's start with manager career. How are people able to lead their club and tactics in new ways in FC24? Well, at the heart of many successful clubs, you'll find a manager who has been given the power to shape the tactical style and bring his own vision to life. Pretty much all and the same so far. Feels in FC24 Big well. Sean Dyche here. Just looked at how Pep and Ancelotti and Klopp and all the real world managers have you actually... It is not taught once about Ian Everett there about big managers. I am absolutely disheartened by that. No McBeal, no Ian Everett. Absolutely disgrace of like a what that boy is on about. Like so we can see here, this is pretty much all the same. This is pretty much where I got to in the last video. Everything is more or less the same. It's just a different UI. Um, it's sort of disappointing. It's been very samey for like the last few FIFAs. I would have hoped that like things would have been a little bit better. Gengen pressing. Gagen pressing. Not Gengen press. Gagen press. And giving you the chance. So it's really annoying to stuff like that. It's a Gagen press. Your own style. And once you've chosen that style, how will managers shape it? Shocking marking that by the right back. The rely on a coaching staff to bring their tactics to life. Oh, okay. So. This is interesting. So attacking skills. So I'm presuming it's like similar to Football Manager that you'll basically like have your different types of coaches and like obviously the more money you have, the uh, obviously better quality ones you can get. I wonder if that makes like that makes a difference on the pitch. That could be really cool. That like say like you go for uh, Adelon Remy uh, for example, um, one star, one star, two star, two star. So like he'd be like probably I guess more like ideal if you're in like a lower league side who's playing more conservative football whereas it doesn't really have an example i i guess this guy the um um hadrian uh you know is a bit more like attack minded is that going to impact this that, that that's an interesting one that i'm i'm interested and can you have like i'm assuming at least you can have more staff capacity 13 so I'm assuming that you can have a fair few. So this year we're introducing coaches to help you do the same. Coaches will have a huge impact on... Uh, 
This is a drill down view of all your coaches and how their skills generate core wealth here. How well your team learns your tactics and how players will develop. The second thing that I was thinking here is are these coaches going to develop over time? Obviously, in real life, when you get into coaching, you go through and you do your FA badges or the equivalent at uh, whichever FA you you, you know your um con you know your basic managing in. Um, so it, it's going to be interesting if, if like say let's say for instance we started Notts County career mode this year, am I going to be able to get my scouts and you know pay money for them to get their coaching badges to progress as coaches, like like in Football Manager that'd be a really good addition. Uh, and I think that that would really add a little bit of interest, especially in Road to Glory. That'd be really cool. These coaches would provide different bonuses to players to the different um, departments. So attacking, defending, midfield, goalkeeping, coaches, and they'll lead to better boosts for your players' attributes. That's and cool. They'll be shifted around as necessary. Having more coaches and, of course, better quality coaches in a given department will actually accelerate the player's development. So okay, that's cool. So striker, you might reshuffle your staff to have more coaches in the attacking department and manage the workload to get the most out of their development. They were... It's a bit interesting that there where it suggests that we have to sort of like rejig everything in order to basically get everyone, like if we get like a marquee sign in that, I'm not too sure on that, I'm not too sure on that, because surely you want a balance throughout your side, you want your entire side surely developing at the same rate. So good today, and give credit to the coach. Okay. He got his tactics absolutely right here. So with all these new coaches, it feels like preparation is a big focus of manager career this year. So what have you been cooking up on the training ground to give people more control over what happens on match day? There are actually three new features for match preparation. Training plans. That's a good addition. I mean, like I say, it's like been in FM for years, but it's interesting there that like you actually get in training plans. So like specifically for different sides, you can set up differently. Like uh, let's just say we use Fulham, you know, you're going to, you know, do a different training plan for setting up against Man City comparatively to Burnley. So that's a very interesting addition. I like that. Pre-match reports and match-ready training. The first way to make sure your players are playing at 100% is to keep them sharp. The expertise of, course, of coaches yeah. sets a ceiling of how much of a boost a player... Okay, so you can literally, like, you know, you can sort of talk about... ...can get to their attributes, but their sharpness... Is... I wonder if we can do multiple different trainings, like, like I say, like, you play on a Saturday... Um, then you train on a month like a Tuesday, and you do a high intensity Tuesday, and then Friday it's just a low intensity one that's to build sharpness and like so on and so forth. That that'd be an interesting one. Uh, I'm assuming he's gonna say that, but you know. Besides, how much of this boost will actually get game to game? Training plans are something that the community have talked to us about a lot, and we know that we could improve that. So we've redesigned them this year to make it easier. And make it more accessible so players can actually keep their players sharp but also make sure they're fit and i think that'd be in that that like if it's individual which it looks like it is players who are coming back from long-term injuries that's gonna be perfect for i feel like like i'm really interested i'm really like liking that 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 seems like a really good addition it feels like this is really going to be helpful in keeping the team going all year so how about managing your training on a game to game level well, we're introducing pre-match reports as well this year, so you can understand your opposition, how they play, find ways to tweak your tactics and get the upper hand against them. So if you're playing against Man City, you might not try to have as much possession, and if you're lining exactly what I was drill, saying, you'll want to watch out for pace on the counter attack. So we want you to be able. So it's pretty much exactly how I said, uh, which is cool, and like. I hope that they don't nerf it too much because I think it's a really good addition. It's going to be really cool for, especially for like Road to Glories. You know, you get yourself a, a big tie in the cup. It's going to be integral. That that's going to be really big. That of how you set up. Able to use really like that. Match reports to understand how they like to play and make a plan for what you might need to do to stop them. Say the pre-match report is telling you that the other team likes to park the bus. You know you're going to need great passing to unlock their defense. With match ready training, you'll be able to play training drills that unlock one time play styles for your players to use in the upcoming match. So, That's in this cool. case, you'd select a drill that focuses on passing and will offer the players involved in that drill some key passing play styles. So, how much of an impact will this have on their performance? This Crossing, absolutely never gonna. <laughs> we don't need that. <laughs> you can probably be able to score a cross goal or like the, probably the first week of the game and then they'll patch it and not allow anyone to do it. Literally change the game. For example, see how the players cross and head the ball in the training drill? 
Here's what those same players look like performing the same action, this time in the game, with those additional... Unrealistic, the defender would always get that. <laughs> So if you're doing like an actual cinematic career mode, like from the touch line it genuinely the looks like you could do like a Sky Sports style um, sort of scene. I, I'm sorry, guys. I've had I've been out I've been out on my feet for eleven hours today. I'm a bit tired, but yeah, that's cool. Like I, I really like that. That that's really we'll definitely play about with that this year. And you'll still be able to make tactical adjustments. Go on, well. lad. Get your get your cricket throwing. Even spoken about player career. That's where we're going to finish it. Uh, I'm not too bothered about. So that's us all finished. And I just wanted to basically now go on about some of the things I'm a bit annoyed at that aren't in. Online career mode. And like the devs have literally said that they're not anywhere close. Which is disappointing. Because I know so many of me and my mates who would just not even like streaming wise. Or like anything to do with content creating. Would just love after work to grab a few beers. And jump on a Discord call and just play online career mode all night. But you know. Yeah, we don't have that. I think the the UI should have had a revamp. I think that the youth development should have, you know, we had it teased about the UEFA Youth League. It finally looked like we we're going to have something where we could actually give our players some form of um, development. You know, I would have loved as well to have our youth players be able to go out on loan but stay in the academy. It would have been so much easier. Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't know, man. I think that there's a lot that's lacking, uh, but I also think there's some interesting stuff that hopefully could be quite good. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But until next time, I'm going to catch you on the flip side. Peace.